in the previous video, we explored progressive delivery, rolling updates, blue, green, canary, what it's good for, what it's not good for, and so on and so forth. The reason why I'm saying that is twofold. First, if you haven't seen that video, follow the link. It's up there somewhere, I think. Uh, and watch it because it provides the base for what we are going to do today. And what we are going to do to get that today is explore practical implementation of progressive delivery. Uh, to be more precise, we are going to see how to do canary deployments. And the reason why we are doing all that is because we are going to explore Argo rollouts. Argo rollouts is one of the few solutions today to use to actually implement progressive delivery. The alternative would be Flagger. But anyways, we are going to see how we can use Argo rollouts to do all that, to do canary deployments. And the reason why we are doing all that, first of all, because progressive delivery is cool, you should use it. Second, because Argo rollouts is great. And third, because I am working on a next section of the DevOps catalog, which will go through all this in more depth. So if you like this video and you would like to go into more depth of this subject, please consider taking this course or a video. You will find the link to the course or the book, whichever format you prefer, in the comment section. And now let's get going and see Argo rollouts, hands-on, practice, what's or not, in 20 minutes or less. Let's deploy the first release. But before we do that, I'm going to, I, I will use Helm to deploy the release, the first and the second and the third and all of them. But it might be too complicated to show you what's going on by going through Helm templates and uh, Helm values, what's or not. So instead, I'm going to convert the Helm uh, definition that I will use to Helm template, which will output typical Kubernetes YAML that might be easier to show you what's going on. I will not explain everything I have here, but two critical uh, components, let's say. And the first one, actually the second, the first one, let's go to the analysis first, is analysis template. And that is the template that defines uh, what are the metrics that should be used to decide whether a Canary deployment should continue progressing or it should roll back to the previous release. And here I have two. One, it's called success rate. By the way, this is using Prometheus. It could be using something else. So one is success rate that says, hey, a success condition is if 80% or more of the requests are successful and failure is if it's the opposite, if it's less than 80% successful. This is the address of my Prometheus server. Failure limit set to three, meaning that if Canary process fails to uh, retrieve satisfying result from Prometheus three times, it will, ro it will roll back. And then we have query. Uh, this is not a video about Prometheus. I will not explain it in detail, except that it, to say that it measures the success rate of my requests, of requests to my application. And a second one that uh, measures the duration of the requests, uh, responses actually. Uh, so two metrics, two queries that will be used to evaluate uh, Canary deployments and decide what to do next. And then we go to the main guy, which is rollout. This is Argo rollout, and the definition is ex almost exactly the same as a deployment. So everything you do with deployments, you can do with Argo rollouts, with few differences, three differences actually. First of all, API version and kind are different. It's not deployment, it is rollout, and API version is not v1. It is Argo project IO v1 alpha 1 for now. And the second important difference, every, everything is the same, is in the strategy. Now, uh, Kubernetes deployment strategy can be rolling updates or recreate, and with Argo rollouts, we can have uh, Canary and blue-green as well, probably more by the time you're watching this. And in it, we are saying, since this is going to be Canary, hey, there, there are two services, the stable services where all the requests should go, 
this is that's the service that will serve requests to the main release, let's say, or the current release, and canary service that will be used for uh, serving requests going to a percentage of a new release. Traffic routing is Istio, it could be Nginx Ingress or Linkerd, quite a few others. And then we have the main, main part, which is steps. And in this case, steps says, uh, set the weight to 10, meaning 10, start sending 10% of the requests to the new release. And then pause for two minutes. And let me stop there, actually. Why do we want to pause for two minutes? Uh, in this case, two minutes sounds like, like a reasonable period of time for Prometheus to collect sufficient amount of metrics. And then we have set weight to 30, meaning increase the reach of the new release to 30%, pause again for 30 seconds. And at this time, we should probably start uh, evaluating the new release. And if you remember the analysis, actually, not if you remember the analysis. If you see here, here uh, in analysis, starting st step two, meaning that, hey, when you reach this part, when you increase the reach of the new release to 30%, start analyzing it and decide what to do next. And then we are, after 30 seconds, we are changing the weight to 50% and pausing for another 30 seconds. And after that, it should roll out the new release fully. The analysis section is using the template. This is the same template that we saw earlier. That's the one that uh, defines queries uh, for the success rate and uh, average request duration and passing a few uh, arguments to that analysis. Okay, that should be pretty straightforward. So I'm going to deploy the first release. And since the command is pretty large, I'm going to copy and paste it. Here we go, deploying the first release. So let's see what's going on. Uh, we are going to execute kubectl argo. Uh, I installed kubectl argo, argo rollouts uh, plugin rollouts, and the namespace is DevOps Toolkit. And uh, we want to get a rollout called DevOps Toolkit. DevOps Toolkit, and I want to watch the progress. And we can see that it is progressing still. Actually, it's already finished. It's progressing because uh, in, that, in that moment, uh, horizontal pod autoscaler did not finish. Now it's fully rolled out. We can see that six out of six steps were executed and the weight uh, is set to 100, meaning that all the requests are going to this release. This was very fast because Argo rollout skipped doing canary deployments because it is pointless. You don't do canaries on the first release. You do it on all other releases, but not on the first release because there is no previous release um, to use to measure things and roll back and what's or not. Okay, so first release is uneventful. Things are going to start uh, looking much more interesting in the second. So let me start sending some requests to my application. And you're seeing uh, 404 not found in a loop. I'm doing that intentionally because I want to see what happens if there is something wrong with the application. I'm simulating as if the new release will be incorrect, let's say. So, uh, upgrading to the new release, Helm upgrade DevOps Toolkit Helm. And then the namespace is DevOps Toolkit. I want to reuse values and I'm going to set image tag to new release, which is 2.9.9. And let's watch what's going on. kubectl argo rollouts namespace devops toolkit. Uh, and we want to get rollout devops toolkit. DevOps Toolkit, and I want to watch the progress. So we can see that it paused right now here. It paused because the first step, if you remember in the steps, is to set the weight to 10%. It did that, and to pause for two minutes. That was specified in the steps. 
Now, let me, I will fast forward to the end of those first three minutes because after that, the action will start. So first three minutes, think of it as uh, heating up, uh, preparing for the battle. We're almost there. We're almost at 120 seconds or two minutes. It will take a few seconds more. And at soon, Argo rollouts will increase the weight to 30%, meaning it will start sending 30% of the requests to the new release. And here we go, 30%. And then it immediately started analyzing the new release. The reason why it's doing that, because we told it, I told it too. That's the analysis template that was used. And we can see that two are successful and two failed. Uh, the average request duration seems to be okay, but the error rate is uh, higher than expected. And now it's three failures. And we said that if it reaches three, it should roll back. So let's see whether that will happen. Uh, right now, the weight is set to 50%. And it is still failing, and we have we see here degraded. The new release was unsuccessful, and it automatically degraded it. What that means really is that it shut down the pods of the new release. It scaled it down. It changed the weight to point to go back to 100% being on the old release. So it's as if it never happened. It failed the tests. It failed the analysis. And right now, uh, that's what we have. We have a failed release detected by canary deployments. Now, let me stop this loop and start sending good requests. Now we see that uh, the responses are 200. And now I'm simulating how would canary deployments look like if, uh, if everything works as expected. So I'm going to deploy a new release now, the one that is supposed to be good, uh, by doing the same thing as before, except that I will use new image tag 2.9.17, Pre previous was 2.9.9, and let's see whether all that works. Remember, now we're simulating what happens if uh, the release is okay. So let me watch the progress by executing uh, kubectl argo rollouts in the namespace DevOps Toolkit. Uh, and I want to get rollout uh, DevOps Toolkit, DevOps Toolkit. And I want to watch the progress. Let's see what's going on. We can see that right now it is on the first step. It set the weight to 10%, just as before and it is waiting for two minutes until it progresses to the next step, which is to increase the reach uh, to 30% and to start uh, performing the analysis. This time it should work correctly, hopefully. Let's see. I will fast forward to the end of those two minutes just for you not to watch me watch the screen. We are almost at 120 seconds. It should now increase the weight to 30% and start another round of analysis. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. And we can see that this time, two, only two analyses were executed and they're successful. And now it increased to four. Remember, we are running two analyses in parallel. And it's all still successful. And then, let's say 10 seconds, six successful. At one moment, it should increase the actual weight to 50% because everything is going great. Everything is perfect so far. 50%, it increased to 50%. It continues analyzing all the time, analyzing, analyzing, analyzing data, double checking, everything looks okay. This is like a soccer match. Uh, it's going great, it's going great. 10 analysis executed, they were all successful. 50% uh, of the requests are going to the new release. It still looks brilliant. It still looks great. Our team is winning. Let's go, let's go. And uh, here we go. And now it is rolling out 
here we go. 100% actual weight is going to the new release. Canary deployments were successful. The first, the second release were unsuccessful. It failed the tests. It failed the analysis. The second one, the third one was successful. And Argo rollouts rolled out 100% of the requests to the new release. It is healthy, as you can see here at the top. Um, and we are successful. That's it. That's all it takes to apply canary deployments or even blue green deployments even though i haven't I didn't didn't show you how to do it but it's more or less the same all we have to do is do the same things that we would normally do if you have uh, kubernetes services and ingress or istio or this or that everything stays the same except that you modify your kubernetes deployment yaml file and change deployment to rollout and change the strategy to canary or blue green you need to define the steps hey do this and then do that almost like if it's a pipeline uh, that argo rollout will use to evaluate whether to move forward or move back you can help yourself additionally by defining analysis template that uh, will help roll out uh, find out where is the information it should use, how it should, where are the metrics, how it should query the metrics, and what are the formulas it should use to do your job. Uh, and by your job, I mean decide whether to roll forward or roll back completely. That's all there is. Thank you for watching. If you, if you like this video, click the like button. It helps a lot. Click it right now and please subscribe to the channel. If you would like to support this channel, um, <clears throat> to buy me pizza or, or uh, Red Bull or coffee or something like that so that I can work on more videos like this, uh, please consider uh, purchasing one of the books or the courses. Uh, that's how this channel is financed. And finally, uh, the last one, the newest course, uh, has many, many cool things, but the one that is really matters for this in the concept of canary deployments and Argo rollouts is that in the latest section, the one that will be released uh, maybe a week from now or something like that, you will find uh, Argo rollouts among many others in much more detail, uh, much deeper exploration of the subject. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Cheers.